It's strange how even just staying an extra half hour can really throw your schedule off. Even though it's only Wednesday, I feel like it's Friday. Admittedly, I'm a little tired. But the day is gonna happen no matter what, and I gotta be ready for it. Is it exciting? No. She's gonna be in house doing the Flynn aftermath. Okay. Hello. Hello. Guess what? You're in house? We're in house. We are? Yeah. got the codes for you for the CNN stuff. So Lisa said, I got the codes. You might be wondering, what does that mean? Well, this is a story that obviously has nothing to do with local news. It's a national story. So how do we get our video? The answer is we use a website called CNN News Source. It's available only to media outlets and CNN will post video from events that they've covered and is available for use from anyone who has access to the website. So what Lisa was doing was she was searching for video clips off of this website that we're going to use in our own package. And she gave me a list of these codes, which I'm going to search for and download. And that's going to be most of our video. Hello. Hello. This kind of stuff is challenging for me because I'm not Right. Involved on in it. this as much, so it takes me a little bit longer. I'm sure you've done a great job, and I always say that these types of packages are like potato chips. They go down really easy, at least from the editing standpoint. We'll be fine. Nobody can eat just one. And that's why we do so many. Mute. Mute button. Muting. Incomplete information regarding any phone calls with the Russian ambassador. I have sincerely apologized to the president and vice president, oh, and they have accepted no. my apology. Any... Flip. Check, check. Tonight on News 12, another bombshell revelation for the Trump White House. News 12's Lisa Reyes joins us with more Lisa. Yeah, Janine, Democrats and even some high-ranking Republicans on Capitol Hill are demanding a full-scale investigation after learning that these conversations with Russia took place during the 2016 campaign well before Trump was in office. They should unite the parties in pursuit of the full truth. And right now, retired Lieutenant General Joseph Kellogg Jr. is acting national security advisor. Another name in the mix, Cornwall native David Petraeus. Janine. All right, Lisa, thank you very much. It's just after the 10.30 show. Obviously, you may be noticing there's a bit of a time jump because we went from 4.30 to six hours in the future. The reason is there really wasn't much else to film today. We did another national story that didn't require a lot of work in terms of gathering elements and editing, and I just didn't want to do a rehash of the afternoon. So I decided I'd kind of give myself the night off. But I want to hear from you guys. What do you want to see in this vlog? Obviously there's a lot more that goes on during the day than what I'm capable of showing you. But if I have a sense of what you would like to see, maybe I'll think to roll the camera in moments that I wouldn't have thought to do so before. So go ahead, leave your suggestions in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other entries in the vlog. And we'll see you tomorrow for another edition of the Photog Vlog.